back at it again. Another round. Air Max month. <clears throat> Air Max day is coming up very soon. We have another installment of the actual Air Max collection that I have. Some of my more unique, more fun, more historical pairs that I want to expose. And I'm glad to have my collection. But before we go any further, as always, like, comment, subscribe, the whole thing. Now we got that out the way. Here we are, guys. The Air Max 180 Ultramarine. These are an extremely classic and a very sought-after silhouette and sneaker. The Air Max did. 1991 was the original release date on year on these. This actual pair, I think, was from 2012 that I have here today. This shoe has been re-released like four or five times, and they have changed the silhouettes on this shoe so much and kept the color blocking the same. If you Google Air Max Ultramarine, you will probably see 10 or 15 different pairs of Air Max that kind of look alike, but all have different variations on them. This one is called the Air Max 180, primarily because it features that 180 degree air unit. You actually can see it on the bottom as well as you're actually walking. So kind of get that air on every single step. The heritage on this actual shoe is extremely unique, being that it is one of the older models. It has that cream color blocking as well, has that OG mesh. This shoe I've worn one time, and I'll be honest, because it is a the worst shoe to clean. This cream new buck is so difficult to clean. Anybody know about this OG mesh? It kind of gets tangled. It gets ripped a little bit. So this is why they've trying to. This is why they, I think they've trying to change this actual silhouette so many times. Is because the materials on it are very nice and very wearable and they're very comfortable. But when it comes to the longevity and durability of them, that is extremely in question. So, but it has that 180 on the back. It has the 180 air on the tongue. Classic sneaker. You can look at it and tell this look like an extremely old shoe. It did come with the white laces, which I kept in there. These are the flats, the OG laces. The comfortability in these shoes are a 10 out of 10. If you have a really high arch, they're even more comfortable. I'm flat footed. They're still comfortable to me, but my flat feet do actually have a little bit more of a, I guess, restriction because these are a very arch sneaker. They have that OG sock kind of tongue inside of them where the whole tongue is connected to the entire front part of the shoe. So you don't even have to lace these up. Just, just that way, you know, if you're running, whatever the case may be, the shoes aren't going to fall off your feet. Um, it has a very hard plastic on the back as well, too, which kind of makes it pop out. This shoe, obviously, as you can probably tell, it is aging a little bit because the red at the bottom here isn't as bright as it was. But outside of that, it's held up pretty well, man. Uh, this shoe, this one actually is a 10-year-old sneaker that I've had since. And um, it's not doing too bad. So Air Max 180 Ultramarine, classic sneaker, another installment. We're making these videos, man. I'm enjoying the process. Hope you guys are liking the videos as well, too. A lot of shoes, as we talked about before, are going to be shoes that I have in my collection of Air Maxes that you don't see all the time, or some that you haven't seen in a very long time, and also shoes you can still get. These are sought after. However, they're probably going for around $250 or $300 bucks online, which is crazy to a novice, but to a sneaker enthusiast, that price point isn't that crazy. But for the history of the shoe, you can't go wrong with the price to me. This is a shoe, if you're in Air Maxes, you should have in your collection. If not... At least know about it. But at any rate, that's today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much again for, for joining me. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, peace.